If someone from Serie A is watching that video, please, I have a message for you. Wake up, wake up, wake up, because I am not happy, absolutely not. Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. Second video of the day, not really Juve related, but something more global, more Serie A related, because I am not happy. Why? Everyone is playing football except of Serie A. No, I'm not saying Italy, because in Italy they play football. No, not Serie A. Serie A is resting. They will start 52 days after the last game that they play, Juve Lazio. We will start again that day on the 4th of January. And there are a lot of things that I really don't understand. I need answers. And I also want to read your opinions about that topic that is annoying me. Yes, I am not happy. I tell you the truth, I am not happy. Why? Because on television now there is Liga, there is Premier League, La Liga will be tomorrow. All and everyone is playing except of Serie A. Then you will tell me, Beppe, but I know, Bundesliga, they will play even further away from Serie A. They will start again on the 20th of January. Yes, okay. Bundesliga, they have 18 teams, not 20, like Italy, like Spain, like England, like France. No, they have 18, which for me is way more beneficial. So I don't understand why we are not taking advantage of everyone that is staying home or in holiday, able to go and watch games on television, but also go to the stadium. We are not taking advantage of that. I was happy only one time in my life, 2018, 2019, where Italy, they said, you know what? Let's try. Let's dare. Let's test. And they did it. We played on the 26th of December, Boxing Day all'Italiana, where actually we played nearly all the games. I believe eight games were played on the 26th. And they cancelled it. One year after they cancelled it. The official reason is, yes, but the stadium were not that filled up. So some games you had a bit less, but uh, some games a bit more, but not enough to justify the 26th. And there are a lot of organizational problems on the 26th, because in Italy, we know it, the Christmas period and holiday are really holy, which I understand, which I totally understand. And that was a really big trouble, but apparently the rumors are saying it's because of players, clubs, and all the people that are inside of Serie A that were absolutely complaining because the holiday were saint and you couldn't touch it because they prefer to travel to Le Maldives or whatever you want in the world, enjoying some holiday far away from football. And if I am someone that is saying that there are too many games, and I continue to say it, there are too many games and the player, they need some rest, well, I'm okay with resting, I'm okay like Bundesliga reducing the participants in a league, but I'm not okay that everyone is playing, everyone is showing to the world that the football is beautiful and Italy is not participating. I tell you, 18th of December, Arge Argentina versus France, final of the World Cup, the world is watching, the world is watching, but they have just one thing that they want, they first want, they want to know who will win the World Cup, but then... They also want to know who will be the GOAT, it's messy, whatever. And then the third thing is they want club football back. 48 hours later, you have two countries that decide to play football, to offer football to their aficionado or to their fans. Spain with Copa del Rey. No, it's not only the small teams that were playing. Villarreal was already playing on the 20th of December on a Tuesday in Spain. But also Premier League, no. Carabao Cup in England was playing with some big teams like Leicester and Newcastle that is momentarily second in Premier League. They were playing. Sam Maximilian was not uh, at the World Cup. Who cares? The team was playing on the field. They don't even wait too long because on the 26th, Boxing Day, traditional, cultural in Premier League in UK, well, they were playing Match Day 17. Match Day 17 taking advance, anticipating, continuing to play, and the world was watching. The world is not watching Serie A that has already some difficulties to show that we want to be back on the first scene, that we want to compete with other leagues. No, we are losing position because on the 26th, the day after Christmas, when you are at home with a belly like me, what are you doing? You are putting television on and you are watching Premier League because there is no Serie A. There is no Serie A. Guys, then you continue of Premier League on the 27th. Today, they will still continue on the 28th with Manchester City that the world is curious to see. But today, they start also on Ligue 1 on the 28th with Paris Saint-Germain that is already playing. Do you remember the images of Mbappé, Hakimi, 
Neymar, all these players coming back to train already to be ready for tonight because they are anticipating they want to be there on the field even if they have a lot of points in advance versus the other ones whatever on the 29 tomorrow La Liga is starting with match day 15 then you will tell me Beppe they need to recuperate because they are really far it's only their 15 game well Juventus they will play and Serie A will start again on the 4th of January 4th of January with match day 16. In the meanwhile, the day before, on the 2nd and the 3rd of January, Premier League would have already played their third consecutive game before Serie A restarted. They will have been at match day 19. Three more match days offered in that period where nobody has nothing to do. We start, we start 52 days after the last Juve Lazio, match day 15. We start 52 days later and it's really crazy because you tell me about organizational problem. People eh, during the holiday, they not always, they can travel, they can go to the stadium and so on. It's a problem in Italy, infrastructure, whatever you want. Hey guys, they start again on a Wednesday, 4th of January, where the world in Italy, it's not a day off. Everyone will work. Games at 12.30 p.m. Italian time. Games at 2.30. Games at 4.30. Juventus is playing at 6.30. In a day where everyone is working. It's totally strange. I don't understand the decision. When everyone is in holiday, no, you don't play. When everyone is at work, you play. So if you are a stu student and you are enjoying holiday, lucky for you, you can go to the stadium. Otherwise, hey, no, you can't. You can't You can't even watch it on television. Because the, the date and the hour of the game is in the middle of the day. Strange. You want to market your best product of Italy, that is calcio, but you are putting the games while everyone is working. Totally strange. I totally don't understand it. If you are comparing with the other clubs, NBA, NBA, they were all playing on Christmas days. Eh? Serie B, Serie B, they played on the 26th. There was a, a possible, uh, there was a boxing day at Italiana, but this time in Serie B. What about the numbers? Was it a real flop? No. Every single game, except of one, they had more attendance in the stadium than the game before. With one, Barri Genoa, with 30,700 people in the stadium, more than the previous game. So guys, it's not about the day the 26th. It's about the big game. We will play on the 4th of January Inter Napoli or Napoli Inter. I don't know now by heart. Well, it will be already sold out because people don't care. It's the 4th of January, 26th of uh, December, whatever. If it's a great game, if it's a beautiful game, people, they want to watch it. And eh, no. So for me, guys, uh, finishing that video, it's a total disaster. Why can't we do like basket in Italy, like volleyball in Italy that we're playing on the 26th of December? Everyone is playing except of Serie A. And this is a problem. We are already behind, so many miles behind Premier League. We want to market our product. Play on the 26th of December. I want to put my big fat ass on my couch and watch the television or doing a live stream together with you guys. I want to watch Juventus. And no, because what is the consequences of playing like that? The players are coming back from the World Cup when they want. Some players are already there, Bremer anticipated, and you have the Brazilian ones. To, uh, tomorrow they will be Rabiot. On the 2nd of January you will have Di Maria and Paredes because they are still part. No. Guys, you start, you put an official date, you play. Then, are we all agreeing that we have to have less games? I totally agree. But if the games are there, if the amount of games are already known and official, you play during the 26th of December, the 27th. Today, on the 28th, I want to watch Serie A. I don't care about Paris Saint-Germain. This was my rant about it. I'm not happy. Let me know your comments. Grazie, forza. Serie A, Juve, whatever you want. Ciao.